Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and they're still blocking the way up there. Well, anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. So, last time, we... We... We did what we did. Well, Groudon and Kyogre were... Fighting. So we summoned Rayquaza to make him stop, and now they've stopped, so now the world is safe. yippee ki -yay. Now in this part, we're going to be fighting the 8th and final gym leader, Juan. 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 There we go. Now real quickly, as you can tell, they're a little stronger now. Um, level 44, level 45, and... Jabba Jabba learnt a really good water type move off screen called Water Spout. As you can see, it inflicts more damage if the user's HP is high. So if you if you use it when you have max HP, it has a power of 150. So the more HP you have, the stronger it gets. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah. And Sparks to try to learn Thunder at level 45, but I decided against it because, as we all know, Thunder. While strong, is unreliable because of its 70% accuracy. Anyway, here's Juan. A gym leader only in Pokemon Emerald. Let me ask you. Did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, uh, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Jeez, look at this guy. He's, well, eccentric. And he has a whole team of five Pokemon, all water types. And he's gonna start with the crappy Pokemon known as Love Disc, level 41. And I was kind of stretching then, sorry. And now Celio. Uh oh, Celio, not good. It, that is a devolved from a spiel, so it's a water ice type, so not good for Chrissy. Just finish you off real quickly. Scratch my ear. In the process. Feel hungry in the process. Uh, ooh. Why do I burp when I'm hungry? Uh oh, okay, wish cast. Going against that thing with an electric type is not a good idea. Because it is a water ground type and evolved from a barboach. So it only has one weakness, which is grass. So it will go down really easily against Sceptile. Yeah, go down you silly little controversial Pokemon. Made it, made Japanese audience miss an entire episode of the anime because of you. Okay, now this is the, this is the big one, Kingdra. I'm kind of worried here. Kingdra, a water dragon type. This is his strongest Pokemon. Yeah, level 46, it's quite it's quite strong. But with Thunder Wave, hopefully this will be a little easier for me now. <laughs> See, it is easier. Being a water dragon type, it only has one weakness, which is dragon, and I don't have any dragon moves, and whoa! Of course he's going to heal. With a hyper potion. This, how's this gonna do? Okay. Could have done a little better. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 no! 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 Oh, no, you didn't! It has rest. 
because that is totally a good strategy. Ice beam. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm not taking any chances here. I don't want him healing again. Uh, ah! I mean, one himself healing, you know, using the hyper potion and such. But wait, this works in my favor because now Kingdra is asleep for two whole turns. That means I can wreck it up. Yeah, you keep sleeping like a baby. I'm just gonna, just gonna pulverize you. One more thunderbolt. And hopefully that should do it. Yeah. Now his final Pokemon is Crawdaunt. The evolved form of Corpfish. Water Dark type. Doesn't really get the most out of its um, out of its stats in this generation though. So this would work well for us. One Leaf Blade should be enough. And it is! Critical hit and everything! Another easy gym fight. Kind of anticlimactic for the fin final one. Ahaha, <laughs> excellent, very well, you are the winner. From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me, or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you alone of my outfit? No. No, 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 I'm not wearing that thing. Ahaha, uh, I merely jest. Rather than in my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the Rain Badge. We now have the 8th and final Gym Badge. Only took 42 parts. Having the Rain Badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokémon to your every command. The Rain Dance also allows the use of the HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. It gives us TM03, which is Water Pulse. Yep. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. Then we registered one. And so with that, we have them all. So with that, with that badge now in our possession, there's only one thing left for us to do. That is to take on the Pokemon League. But that'll be, a, that'll be a while away though, because there's still quite a bit of stuff I want to do before we even head to the Pokemon League. We have an optional area we can go to. We have the Trick House to finish off. We have some Pokemon to catch. And we have some new some um, areas to go back to because there's some new paths we can go to. So what can I do now? Um, eight and a half minutes into the video. That's that didn't take very long. Well, let me check the Pokenav. So if we want to go to the Pokemon League, we just have to go here to Evergrande City because that's where the Pokemon League is. And for a city, I gotta say it's pretty damn deserted. But there's also Victory Road there. And to get to Evergrande City, we're going to need to use Waterfall. Now, I'm going to teach that to, that to my good old HM slave, Meryl. So that means Meryl has nothing, I repeat, nothing but HM moves. Pretty sad life for Meryl, huh? Nothing but HMs. So with Waterfall, we can't access a new area in Media Falls. And I guess I could go there now. Uh, Media Falls is that way. Yeah. But I'm gonna go to Rustboro City. Because with Surf, we can actually access a new area north of it. So I kinda wanna check it out. We'll just go this way and surf right up. 
and while I'm going about my uh, um, my duties, I guess you could say, uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, we need to go up from here. But either way, I would like to talk. Yeah, me talking, something I'm terrible at, and yeah, I'm going to do it right now. So, Pokemon fans, new Pokemon, yeah, that's all I have to say. New Pokemon, for X and Y. Four, in fact. So that gives us ten Pokemon, is it? One, two, three. Yeah, it gives us ten Pokemon that we know now for Generation Six. So we have a uh, we have a generic normal flying type. It had to happen. He's a bit of a he's he's a Robin Pokemon. Yeah, we only know the Japanese names as of this video going up. I just hope it won't be months before we learn the English names, because that would be kind of sucky. There's a... There's a fighting type panda, which let's be honest, we all know that's based off Kong Fu Panda and Heal Powder. I believe that's bitter, but I don't remember what it does. Stairs weapons. I don't want that. I also don't want the revival herb if I picked off screen. I found that somewhere off screen. Oh, I could have had a double battle there. Wait, you're blocking me off! That guy's blocking me off now. Idiot. Whatever. We also have a uh, normal electric type. Now, that type hasn't been done before, has it? No. That normal electric type Pokemon. Um, his design is pretty interesting. I don't know what he's meant to be. Um, but one thing I will say is his color scheme reminds me a lot of that of Marwiles. His yellow black color scheme. It looks like Marwiles. So for that matter, that Pokemon reminds me of Marwile. And last but not least, there's Go Go. Yeah, Go Go. The, uh, the grass type Pokemon that apparently you can ride at certain points in the game, that'd be pretty neat. He's a grass type goat. That's all there is to say about him. Oh crap, overpowered move for the lose. Yes, because 10 HP is totally OP. I'm just begging Nintendo of America, well, Nintendo outside of Japan, not to keep us waiting on these English names. I don't want to be kept waiting, because that was one of the biggest problems I had with black and white, was it took forever for us to learn any English names, especially for the starters. There was a, uh, yeah, there was like a six month wait between the actual announcement of the stars and their English names. And it's actually a good thing I did get the Mark bike. I thought we needed it for the Sky Pill, but that's actually for another time. And up here we have an iron. That... That's for defense, right? Yes, definitely use that on Iron Giant. Well then! Off we go. There's still a few more trainers to fight. I and mean, we've got some trainers here guarding some berries for whatever reason. So yeah, this place is just a bunch of trainers really. But you know, it's an area. We might as well show it off. And your matchup is not going to last very long. I'm so sorry, it really isn't. And the same goes for Machok, it's not going to last, I'm so sorry. He looks confident, but he's not going to last. Mm. So, I guess all we can do now is just expect more and more Pokemon to get announced over the, over the upcoming months, because it's still five months to go until the games actually launch. And also, worldwide, worldwide simultaneous launch for JRPG is quite ambitious. I'll battle these two off screen. 
That battle proved how powerful Water Spout can be. And we have Kelpsy Berries here. These are purely Poke Block ingredients. And Septile leveled up in that battle, so it's now level 46. Doom, da, 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 doom. And there's a bit of grass here to catch some Pokemon in. Oh, you can reach it then. A little gap. Alright then. This could be a bit of a lengthy episode, but we're going to Media Falls. We're going to explore the new areas that we can get to now. Hopefully. Yeah, we could go up. Just spray a repel real quickly. Enjoy the awesome music, of course. We're going to need Waterfall, though, but thankfully we do have that. If we just surf up here, we'll see a waterfall that we can go up. Oh, we can't go that way, so I guess I'm just going straight up. Must get up! So, going up. And as you can see, there's a cave entrance. Now, there will be some trainers in a place like this. That is pretty unexpected, but yes, there will be some trainers. Not a whole lot, mind you, but there are trainers here. Up here is an item. A oh, Iron Tail. Okay. Iron Giant already has that, but oh well, I got a spare use of it. One spare use of it, more specifically. See, there are trainers here. I believe this is a double battle. Yes, it is. This is a double battle. We've been married for 50 years. Old couple. John and Jay. With their Hari armor and Medicham. See, see this now. The awesome power of what the spout. Don't! Oh! And it also hits both targets during double battles. Yeah, look at this awesome power here. Full HP, suckers. That's it. That was it. That wasn't much. No, 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 no don't use that. Uh, use Water Pulse. And then the Leaf Blade. Oh, good thing I attacked you then. No focus punch for you. Really? You are an old lady. You should have experience and knowledge. And then all you can do is spam protect. Are you sure you're an expert? Black. Oh yeah, you didn't have the nerve to use it three times in a row, did ya? No. Oh! Ow! That's gonna hurt. Oh, thank God it didn't get a burn. Had to get burned! Had to get burned! I'm get You're still alive! Oh no, it's gonna use protect, isn't it? Oh no! I'll take it! I will take it! And there we go, level 45 for Chapel Chapel. Oh dear, we lost my dear husband. And guess what? We can actually rematch these trainers at times if we wanted. That'd be cool. I mean, they're actually worth quite a bit of experience, so they are worth it. And off screen. Nice superhero get up. That guy had two Alterians. Oh, this now. We're going to have to go down here um, in a certain way if we want to get to where we want to go. You know, it doesn't even matter. Oh, what's this way? What? Oh, crap. It took us back here. The wild Pokemon are coming. Oh. I took my chance. I took my chance. And I shouldn't have. And the telephone is ringing. 
to spray the repel already. I was all like, no, I'm gonna go down the ladder and then use the repel. Just give me a few extra steps. I shouldn't have. Anyway, we, we really need to get through this quickly. I don't want this episode to be too long. Okay, maybe we should go down the left side. No? Then where the hell do I go? Where do I go? I'm lost! No, I can't be lost. No, not that way. Not that way. Where do I go? I don't know. Huh? What's up with the phone? Our phone's glitching! Oh, that's right, we go down here. You little derp. He says, there's one place I definitely want to get to here. Okay, there's a cave entrance up there. <gasps> the wild Pokemon are coming! We need perma repels. Yeah, there's a cave. There's something down here. An item. One pee, pee up. Okay, nice find, actually. Okay, now I'm gonna go up to that little cave entrance up there because that that place oh we I have to show you it. This place might not look impressive at first because it's quite a small room, but there's two big things here. For one thing, there's TM2 Dragon Claw, a very good dragon type move, and this area also has a Pokemon in it. This Pokemon only appears in this one small room, and it's fairly uncommon, and I'm gonna want it. I want to show it off. So when it appears, oh yeah, I got a repel up. Hooray for Bike of Ass Control! Look at this! I'm really, I'm trying to turn here, but it's so goddamn stiff. Okay, the repel's worn off. Now we can search for this Pokemon. Maybe I'm lucky enough to find it on the first try, which I am not! Because, if anything... I'm really, really stuck. Uh, I am... 12 levels higher! Can you give me that crap? The Pokémon in here that I want... It was... It's pretty much a last, a last minute decision. It's gonna be the sixth member of my team because I really can't think of anything else good enough for my team, especially this late in the game. Yeah, you probably already know what it is. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut ahead until I find it because this is dragging on now. This is bloody dragging on. Oh, we found it! Bagon! This is a dragon type Pokemon. But it's female. Ah, that's more like it! After three female Bagons, we have a male. Well then. This is Bagon, a dragon type Pokemon. It's the non legendary Uber of this generation. It evolves into uh, Shield On, and it finally evolves into the mighty Salamence, where it becomes Dragon Flying. Yeah, I kind of decided on having this Pokemon for my, si for my, um, for my team because. Well, I just couldn't think of anything else, and it was pretty much a last-minute decision. In fact, I kind of made it, made the decision to my in my head during this video. Now, this Bagon, being the final member of my team, he's gonna be special. You see why when I catch it. Well, this could be tough. That's Dragon Breath there. 
Yeah. Very bad breath. And it's dragon type. It can even paralyze you. It's quite nasty breath. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah! Bagon, the Rockhead Pokemon. Although it is small, this Pokemon is very powerful because its body is a bundle of muscles. It launches headbutts with its iron-like skull. It also jumps off cliffs because it wants to fly. But it fails. Now the nickname. <laughs> oh, the nickname. Wait, can I maybe... Yes, I will be able to fit it in. Yeah, Fool Boy V5. You guys remember him? Yeah, he's the guy who quit on ya. And yet, even though he quit, he still has more surfs than me. What the heck? You know, I, I don't. I, I realize he deserves more subs than me because he he's, a, he's more social. I'm not. I'll explain some other time. But for now, we have our sixth and final team member, a Bagon named Fooboy V5. <laughs> it's just Salamence happens to be his favorite Pokemon, so it kind of fits. But, however, he, we're not going to add him to the team just yet. We're still going to need to use Waterfall for a bit. Only for a bit, though. Only one small area. No, two small areas, actually. But once we've been to those areas, then I will add him to the team. So I guess that's going to do it for now, then. So, in this part, we got our 8th and final gym badge, we also got our 6th and final team member, and we did a bit of exploring of some areas, so I guess we're going to continue exploring next time. So, until next time, see you later.